Hello everyone, it's Miss Angela from the Fort Worth Public Library. Welcome back to our Let's Create Virtual Storytime. Do you remember our welcome song? You do? Great, let's sing it together. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. And now, do you remember the words in Spanish? We're going to say, hola amigos. Es tiempo de decir hola. Hola amigos, hola amigos, hola amigos, es tiempo de decir hola. And now we're going to go over our sign language really quick. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Great job, everyone. Okay, now let's stand up and get our wiggles up. Stand on up. We're going to start by stretching up high, as high as you can, and wave your arms like you're a tree in a slow breeze. Now you're a tree in a fast breeze, fast, fast, woo, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And now stretch down low, 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 as low as you can, touch your toes. Now stand back up, stretch over to the side, and wiggle your arms over there, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now stretch over to the other side, and wiggle your arms over there, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Great job. Now let's all sit down. Today we are talking about spiders, and I've brought a spider friend to help us out. Sometimes you might be a little scared of spiders, but you know what I think whenever I see one? I think, thanks spider for eating all the mosquitoes that otherwise would have eaten me. How many legs does a spider have? Do you know? Let's count them together. We're gonna count your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All spiders have eight legs. They are arachnids. Our first story today is called, There's a Spider in This Book. I see a spider, it's purple, with yellow stripes on its legs. Do you know another character that might be in this book? Maybe the cat here? The words are by Claire Friedman, and the pictures are by Mike Byrne. Hello! I should probably warn you, there's a spider in this book. My name is Eric. I have long hairy legs and big googly eyes. Granny and Fluffy the cat don't like spiders, so I'm hiding. Can you find me? Let's see, can you find Eric the spider? Maybe if I zoom it in a little bit closer. Can you see him? A little closer. Can you see him? A little closer. There he is, hiding in a basket. It looks like Granny's house is not very tidy. Stop shouting my name. I am not coming out. You will probably be really scared of me and run away. Here is a picture of some cute bunnies for you to look at instead. Do you see Eric hiding behind the bunnies? It says, bye Eric. The spider is a bit of an artist. I don't care how many times you call out Eric and it's no good shaking the book. I'm not coming out. But to show you there are no hard feelings, here is a lovely little present. I wrapped it up myself. What is it? It's a fly. Spiders like flies, but do grannies like flies? Doesn't look like it. You don't like it? Talk about ungrateful. Do you see Eric hiding? Behind the picture frame. Perhaps if people got to know the real me, they wouldn't be so scared of spiders. My favorite hobby is embroidery. Wow, look at that web Eric made. Can you see the shape? It's in the shape of a heart. 
I can run really fast too, especially when Fluffy tries to eat me. Oh no. It's not easy being me, you know. People scream at me all the time, which doesn't do my confidence any good. Arrgh! And they always run away from me. I have to be very careful to avoid being squished by clumsy feet. You see Eric hiding in the refrigerator. Think of it from my point of view. People poke me with long pointy sticks. They trap me in jam jars, then throw me out of high windows. And worst of all is that noisy sucking machine. You know what he's talking about with that noisy sucking machine? Looks like a vacuum cleaner to me. It's not fair. Pick on someone your own size. My nerves are in shreds. I've tried to get people to like me. One Christmas, to look less frightening, I disguised myself as a decoration on Granny's tree. Do you see Eric hiding on the Christmas tree? There he is. Oh, and who's that in the window? Santa. Big mistake. Looks like Fluffy's climbing the tree to try and get Eric. If people weren't so scared of me, I'd make an excellent pet. I could catch any flies buzzing around their home. I wouldn't need feeding. Breakfast fly, snack fly, lunch fly, dinner fly. Would you ever try a fly? I've tried other bugs, but I don't know if I would eat a fly. And they'd never need to brush me. I really like playing games too. I'm great at hide and seek. There's Eric hiding in a few places. Let's see. On top of the statue, inside the sink, behind the fish bowl. You can see his eyes. And Fluffy is never smart enough to catch me. Crash! See what I mean? Unfortunately, Fluffy doesn't enjoy our games as much as me. Uh-oh, looks like Fluffy might be in trouble with Granny. And he hates being told off. It makes him really mad. Good job I have an emergency escape line. Quick, turn the page. Whoosh! Phew, that was close. Inside this book is a brilliant place to hide. I bet you still can't find me. Do you see Eric's legs poking out from under there? Let's see if we can see him. There he is. The end. Great listening, everybody. Now let's stand up and we're gonna do a little spider rhyme. Now you may not have a spider puppet or a spider stuffed animal at home, but that's okay. You're gonna use your hand as your spider and you're gonna follow along with me like this and make your spider go to the places where I'm talking about. There's a spider crawling on my arm. Where will he go? There's no use in asking me. Only the spider knows. Where did the spider go this time? My leg. There's a spider on my leg. Where will he go? There's no use in asking me. Only the spider knows. Hmm? Where did the spider go this time? On my head. There's a spider on my head. Where will he go? There's no use in asking me. Only the spider knows. Where did the spider go this time? On my shoulder. There's a spider on my shoulder. Where will he go? There's no use in asking me. Only the spider knows. Where did the spider go this time? On my elbow. There's a spider on my elbow. Where will he go? There's no use in asking me. Only the spider knows. The spider's on my tummy. There's a spider on my tummy. 
Where will he go? There's no use in asking me. Only the spider knows. Where will he go this time? <gasps> on my face! There's a spider on my face. Where will he go? There's no use in asking me. Only the spider knows. Spider, I need to get off of my face. Great job, everyone. Now, do you know a song about a spider? Did you say the spider in his web? Well, that's the song we're going to sing next. It's to the tune of The Farmer in the Dell, and it goes like this. The spider in his web, the spider in his web. Spin, spin, oh, watch him spin the spider in his web. Now the spider's going to catch a few things to eat. All right, first he's going to get a wasp. The spider gets a wasp, the spider gets a wasp. Spin, spin, oh, watch him spin the spider gets a wasp. Now he's going to get an ant. The spider gets an ant. The spider gets an ant. Spin, spin, oh, watch him spin. The spider gets an ant. Now you can pick any bug that you like. I'm going to say mosquito because those are my favorite ones for spiders to eat. The spider gets a mosquito. The spider gets a mosquito. Spin, spin, oh, watch him spin. The spider gets a mosquito. Mmm. Our second story is called Walter's Wonderful Web. Listen to that. That's alliteration. All of these words start with the same sound. W Walters, W Wonderful, W Web. What letter makes that sound W? Has a line going down and one going up and one going down and one going up again. It's a W. Walter's Wonderful Web. All of those words start with W. This book is written and illustrated by Tim Hopgood. Walter wished, another W word. Walter wished he could spin a perfect web just like his friends. But Walter's webs weren't perfect. They were wibbly wobbly, another W sound. And when the wind, wind starts with W too. And when the wind blows, wibbly wobbly webs always blow away. But Walter was determined. So one morning he decided to start with something simple. Very carefully, he made a small web in the shape of a this shape has three sides, one, two, three, and three corners, one, two, three. It's a triangle. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter started again. This time he made a bigger web in the shape of a... This shape has four sides, one, two, three, four, and four corners. One, two, three, four, and its sides are the same length. It's a square. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed and started again. This time he made a longer web in the shape of a... This shape has four sides like a square, one, two, three, four, and four corners like a square, one, two, three, four, but two of its sides are longer than the other two. It's a rectangle. Whoosh went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed. Then he stretched his legs and made a taller web in the shape of a now this shape also has four sides and four corners. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But the corners are different sizes. It's a diamond. What do you think the wind did? Whoosh, whoosh went the wind and it blew that web away too. Perhaps my webs should be more round, thought Walter. So he climbed up and down. He twisted and twirled. 
Would this be Walter's first perfect web? Let's see. Nearly. It wasn't a perfect web, but it was an almost perfect. This shape is round. It has no corners. It's a circle and it looked strong. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh went the wind. Poor Walter hit the ground with a bump. Poor Walter. Walter was tired and upset. He felt like giving up. But as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. All at once, he knew just what to do. So he took a deep breath and set to work. Let's see, what kind of web do you think Walter is going to make? Whoosh went the wind, but it didn't stop Walter or his web. Not this time. And as the stars came out, who else came out? A few owls. Walter's web shone in the moonlight. Wow, what a beautiful web. It was better than perfect. It was a truly wonderful web. Let's look at it again and see if we can see any of the shapes that we talked about. Do you see squares? Do you see triangles? Do you see circles? Do you see rectangles? Do you see diamonds? All of the shapes are inside of Walter's web. The end. Great listening, everyone. Now, do you know a song about a spider? Did you say five little spiders? That's the song we're going to sing next. Five little spiders spinning webs in a door. One spun away and then there were four. Four little spiders spinning webs with glee. One spun away and then there were three. Three little spiders spinning webs brand new. One spun away and then there were two. Two little spiders spinning webs in the sun. One spun away and then there was one. One little spider spinning webs all alone. She spun away and then there were none. All of the spiders came back to spin together and enjoy the sunny weather. Great job, everyone. Next, we're going to do a rhyme about a spider. And you may have heard this one before. It's a pretty popular nursery rhyme. It's called Little Miss Muffet. So we're gonna say Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Okay, let's do it again. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet. A tuffet is like a pillow. Eating her curds and whey. Curds and whey are like cottage cheese. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss ah! Muffet away. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her Ooh. Now, do you know a song about a spider? Have you been saying the itsy bitsy spider this whole time? That's a pretty good song about a spider. Let's sing that one together. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now you may not be able to do your fingers like this. That's okay. Your itsy bitsy spider can move like this or like this, however you want it to move. But I like to switch this song up too. So in addition to the itsy bitsy spider, I also like to do the big giant spider. 
Can you sing that one with me? The big giant spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the big giant spider went up the spout again. Great job, everyone. You can mix that up too. You can make it a happy spider, a sad spider, a medium sized spider, a fast spider, a slow spider. The spider can be any kind that you want it to be. Now it's time for our activity. So if you have your craft sack, go ahead and get it and you're gonna pull out the piece of white yarn that's in your bag. Now if you don't have a craft sack, you can use any kind of string that you have around the house. It could be butcher's twine or string for making jewelry. It can be anything you want really. And it doesn't have to be white. Uh, and everyone, even if you do have a craft sack, I'm gonna ask you to go outside with your grown up and find three sticks. So I went out on a walk and I found these three sticks. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put them together in an X and then kind of like a snowflake. And then you're gonna wrap your string around. You may need help from your grown up to get this started. Just kind of work it in there a couple times tight around the middle. So once you've got it kind of secure in the middle, you're gonna loop it around once on one stick and then go to the next stick and loop it around and go to the next stick and loop just like this. And you'll be making a web just like Walter did. And it doesn't have to be all sorts of wonderful shapes like Walter's. It can be a little bit messy. And then when you've used up all of your yarn, Ask your grown-up to help you just tie a knot at the end. And you could hang it up if you wanted. And there's your wonderful web. Now let's sing our goodbye song to close out. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. And now in Spanish, do you remember how to say goodbye in Spanish? You say adios. We're gonna say adios amigos, goodbye friends. And then es tiempo de decir adios. Adios amigos, adios amigos, adios amigos, es tiempo de decir adios. Now let's revisit our signs. Goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. We'll see you next week, everyone. Thanks for joining us.